Hi, it's Johnny. I want to show you how to pin a file or a recently used file to a taskbar icon or what's referred to by Windows 7 as the jump list. Now let's go ahead and get started. I had a file that I had recently opened. It was uh, Microsoft Word Document 1 and so it appears in my recent file list because I had recently opened it. But what will happen is that Windows 7 as you open and close files will remove that file. But let's say you want to keep it there permanently. What you do is you go to that file, you right click, and you click on pin this to the list. Now what's going to happen now is no matter how many files I open and close, this file is always going to be here. And this list is called the jump list. Now that's one way of adding it by right clicking on the application icon. Another way you can add it if you have not opened it yet is that you can open up Windows Explorer. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to right click on the start menu and I'm going to click on open Windows Explorer. And that's going to bring up Windows Explorer or what I like to refer to as file manager. And I'm going to click on documents which is where the file is located. Now it could be in document, it could be in another location. And here's a file that I have not opened yet and it's not in the jump list and it's Microsoft Word document 2 and I'll just take that file and I'm going to drag it to a blank spot on the taskbar and you'll notice that Windows 7 adds it to the jump list. So now on our jump list we've got Microsoft Word document 1 and Microsoft Word document 2. Both have been added to the jump list. They'll be there permanently and no matter how many, how many, how many files we open or we close. I'm going to go ahead now and close down the Windows Explorer and that's how you add a file to the taskbar and to the jump list. Well, that's all for now.